Hi, it's Stuart again. In this second short lesson, we will look at the five types of bones. As you probably already noticed, there's a big difference between your femur, or thigh bone, and your parietal bone, or side of the skull. Not only do they have different shapes and sizes, but they serve different purposes. The femur provides support, movement, mineral homeostasis, and blood production whereas the skull provides protection for the brain. So, the femur fits in our first group of bones, which are called long bones. Long bones are longer than they are wide, and are located in the upper and lower extremities. In addition to the femur, long bones include all of the hand and foot bones, which are called metacarpals and metatarsals, as well as the finger and toe bones, which are called phalanges. They also include the humerus, or upper arm bone, radius and ulna, or bones of the forearm, and the tibia and fibula, which are bones of the lower leg. The next type of bones are called short bones. These are more cubical, or round. They include the carpal bones, or bones of the wrist, and the tarsal bones, or bones of the ankle. They provide full range of motion in all planes. Next we have flat bones. Flat bones provide protection for our internal organs and include the bones of the skull and the bones of the thorax, or chest. Irregular bones are so-called because they don't fit neatly into any other category. The vertebrae, or spine bones, are irregular bones. The pelvis is considered irregular, as are the sphenoid and ethmoid bones, two bones of the skull, and the auditory ossicles, which are the bones of the middle ear. Finally, we have sesamoid bones. Sesamoids are bones embedded within a tendon. They are located across joints and provide mechanical advantage. The patella, or kneecap, is a sesamoid. Additionally, most people have a variety of sesamoids in their wrists, ankles, and feet. So, those are the five types of bones. I hope they make sense to you. If you have questions, go to the resources I've posted. If you still have questions, drop me a line. I'd love to hear from you.